Along with two others in Canterbury and Faversham, this oak chest has been known as a Kentish Gothic and has been in constant use for storage in the parish for hundreds of years. The group of medieval chests has recently been the subject of new research. It's always been an oak box that's been in the corner of the chapel and uh, we know it's old and we know that at various times it's had different things kept in it. Um, valuable things but also stuff that you need to keep together like particular or sets of altar cloths and it's just really been literally part of the furniture which is a lot of woodwork in St Margaret's um, the, the roof structures is wooden we've got a rood screen we've got altar rails and all of that dates back and we've all generally assumed that the, the wood was made on site and so with the chest we've always assumed that it was made here or at least made very locally and brought here on a cart and carried in and it takes a few it's really heavy I, I dropped something behind it about six months ago and it took four of us to move it out it's incredibly heavy and it's really solid I'm sure it came to us on a cart and was hefted into church on on burly shoulders because that's certainly what it would have needed with no one seriously questioning where it came from or who made it, previous records always stated its origins were in Kent, from the 14th century, with the almost identical boxes in each church produced by the same local craftsman. Until now, when St Margaret's was sent the results of recent research. We've known that other churches have chests. We happen to think ours is the most beautiful, but we would. Um, but we hadn't realised that all the chests... Uh, many of the chests in these churches are connected and they've got an origin in Poland that they come from a forest somewhere near Gdansk and the trees were felled in the 1400s and so that means the wood was was sourced there and the experts now tell us that the carving seems to have a decidedly German flavour of about the same period so we now have this mystery of four or five of these chests very similar uh, being brought to churches in Kent and we'd love to know what brought them here and how they got here. Uh, whether they were a fashionable item, uh, whether somebody bought a job lot, as it were, and gave them to churches, we don't know. But it's fascinating that the history of the, of, of the chest is much older and goes much further afield than we ever believed. To the experts, the giveaway that this is German was the distinctive carving. The Kentish Gothic chest may now be more accurately named the German or Polish chest, as the parish looks forward to finding out more about this unexpected continental import. Sandy Fleming for Rainham News.